Hi, this is Mike with Waverfile. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using Waverfile in five quick steps. Step one, set up your form. To get your form set up, we'll start by logging into your dashboard. You'll get the link for this in an email when you sign up. Click on Waiver Forms on the left, and then click on New Waiver Form. Add your Waiver Forms title and copy and paste your agreement text from Word, PDF, or wherever you have it. If you have any underlined sections for questions, you can leave those out for now. We'll set the questions up below. Down here you can choose if you're collecting signatures for adults, children, or both. Choose any combination you need. Then choose which fields you want to include. Email, address, phone, date of birth. The join the mailing list option is useful because you can have customers opt into your email marketing list when they sign their waiver. More on how to connect that later. To add more questions, click on the Custom Fields tab. Here you can add text boxes, drop-down lists, and other form fields to set up any questions you need. If at any time during this process you get stuck or need help, you can choose from the support options on the right side. There's an option to send us a copy of your form too, and we can set it up for you. Once you're done, click on Save down at the bottom. Step 2. Share your form. Now that your form is ready to go, you want to get it out to your customers. Go ahead and click on the Signature Area link on the top right. This is the address to your online signature page. Copy and share this link any way you like, email, text message, or edit to your website. If you have an online booking system, this is the link that you should add to your confirmation pages and emails to direct customers to sign right after they register. From here you can see what it looks like for customers when they sign. Click on Sign Here. They can review the agreement, choose who they're signing for, fill out the form, click here to sign their name, and submit the waiver. Step 3. Set up a kiosk for signing at your location using the waiver file app for iOS and Android. We recommend tablet enclosures for iPads and Android tablets. They secure the tablet and power cord and there are many different mounting options. We'll post links to those below. A few benefits of the waiver file app include offline signing, photo capture, and document scanning. Once you have a tablet ready, just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for waiver file. We also have links on our website. Step 4. Start checking in customers. Once you start collecting waivers, head on over to your dashboard. Next to each person's name is a circle that you can click to mark them as checked in. This helps you keep track of who has already arrived and who hasn't. On the left, you can filter the view to only show names who have not been checked in yet. This makes it easier to find names quickly. To find names you might not see right away, just use the search in the top left corner. Step 5. Integrate. Now that you've got customer data on file, start putting that data to work. Go to Settings and Integrations, and you'll see that WaiverFile has a number of integrations available that will automatically send the data you collect to different services. It's a great way to build a mailing list of all your customers so you can send up promotions and special offers. Just click on the Setup button for whichever service you use to get it started. Bonus tip, Events. If you host parties, events, or groups, WaiverFile has a really great feature that makes organizing your waivers so much easier. In the dashboard, go to Events and click on New Event. Give it a name, choose a date and time. If you want to invite someone to see a list of people who have signed for this event, check the Invite Managers box. Add one or more email addresses, and each person will get invited to view a list of names. They don't view the entire waiver, just a list of names for everyone who's signed. You can also make events repeat by making a recurring event by checking the box here. Once you're done, click Save, and you're all set. You can copy the direct link to this event right here in the list, or just go back to your main signature area, and you'll see that a new button has appeared. Here for an event, you'll see all the upcoming events are listed. When customers sign, they'll be grouped in the dashboard instead of all mixed into one big list. If you have any questions about anything related to our service, visit WaverFile.com and contact us today.